Okay, so this is my little organic garden planted at my house, side of the driveway. This bed here is eight by eight. That child is two foot tall. This here is a little four by nine bed. But I was having some problems. All of my uh, squash, zucchini, and otherwise, even the tomatoes, they're all very yellow, and I couldn't figure out why. I had built these beds, we put topsoil down, and we put uh, bags of black cow composted fertilizer in them in the mix before we ever planted. But still, everything was kind of yellow. You see that? Which obviously says we got a nitrogen issue. So we got just a little bit of uh, cow manure put on the tomatoes. Now the tomatoes are nice and green. Everything else is still yellow. Proof positive, we had a nitrogen problem. So we're gonna fix that right now with some Southland Organics products. I'm gonna show you how. Now look, in the interest of full disclosure, because we always wanna say that we are a transparent company, when we planted, when I planted all of these plants, which again are a combination of zucchini, squash, cucumbers, basil, that kind of thing, I applied Green Mine at the root ball when I planted. And the strength of Green Mine, obviously, is the uh, chelation, how it chelates the nitrogen, and the beneficial biology that helps feed all the minerals to the plant. Problem is, if there aren't any minerals in the soil to, from the get-go, then there's nothing to chelate. There's nothing for the, the beneficial biology to feed the root ball. So we're gonna add that now. And then we're gonna spray the foliage with our product compost tea. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so this here is simply a mixture of manure, chicken manure, with zeolite. The zeolite's been sitting in the chicken manure for a while, soaking it up. So we're gonna put that around the bottom of the plant, and that will provide the needed nitrogen. Yeah, what now? I see it. You wanna see the poop in the bucket? Buddy, your hands dirty. They are? Let's see. Yeah, they are. And they're dirty because of the application process. So what I'm going to do with each of these plants, I'm going to dig around a little bit, get close to, as close to the root ball as I can, and I'm going to take the zeolite laden manure, spread all around it, cover it back up. I'm going to do that with each plant, every zucchini, every squash, every piece of basil, even the tomatoes that uh, are doing better than the other stuff. I'm gonna apply this. What that's gonna do is that's gonna give this, uh, each plant a dose of nitrogen that it needs. Again, this is all organic though. A neighbor told me to uh, go get some miracle Grow, some synthetic nitrogen to put on these. I said, no, this can be done without synthetic nitrogen, burning your plants all to hell. Now, these two poor souls right here, this guy and this guy are going to be our control. We're not going to treat them. We're going to treat all of their brothers and sisters in here, but we're not going to treat these two, this one and this one. Okay, so what we're doing now is I have bought this uh, hose-in sprayer, wet or dry, from Lowe's. Real simple, the Hudson brand. We're going to fill that full of compost tea. It's not even labeled compost tea, but trust me, it's compost tea. It came straight from the factory. We're going to do that. We're going to spray it on all the foliage and uh, see what happens. That organic black tea. Consistency looks like very thick old coffee. It's beautiful. Beautiful. All organic. No chemicals. Nothing synthetic. Liquid Mother Earth right there, people. Here we go. Let's try to spray these things down. All you got to do is give them a good coat. Let's give them a good coat. I'm spray my tomatoes down. So like I was saying, we're going to be gone for like four days. I'm going to go ahead and water all the plants, get them good and soaked, water them deep so the roots are obviously chasing the water deep down, and uh, we'll see how it goes. I will update you when I know. Okay, so it's been about two weeks, and already we're seeing some pretty significant growth. Check out this bed. See, the basil here is huge compared to what it was. It's, uh, it's probably about 12 inches high now, 12 to 15 inches high. Um... I don't know if we're looking at squash or zucchini here, but it's already gotten a lot bigger. All of the plants are seeing some pretty significant growth. Except for these two. Remember these two? We didn't work on these two, did we? So here are its brothers and sisters over here. And here are these two pathetic little guys. Still kind of pathetic. Hmm. Let's go look at the other bed with the tomatoes. Here's where I'm seeing the real, real growth in the past couple of weeks. My tomatoes have gotten huge. All these flowers that I tried not to hit, now I hit them all right. My tomatoes are all about, oh, I don't know, 36 inches maybe. And our squash and zucchini are also pretty significant as well. You notice these guys right here along my flower bed, and then boom, all the rest of them. If I'm not mistaken, I left these guys alone 
with the Ultimate Tee last time and applied Ultimate Tee to these guys. Look at this guy. Bushy, big, flowers everywhere. All of them huge until you get down to these little guys. But you know, the biggest thing with these beds and the last two weeks, the progress, is not just the growth of the plants, but remember how yellow and nasty they were? They just looked unhealthy. I'm not sure if you can tell now, but they're all very green. They've greened up quite a bit. That was a lack of nutrients. That's what that was. We just kind of figured from the beginning, how could it be a lack of nitrogen? I put the, the black cow stuff in there. It had to have been because look where we are now. <laughs> 